Hi guys, welcome back and today we look at how the Spanish national team would do in La Liga. So what we've done is we've took the team that got relegated last season, Ibar, we've put all of the best Spanish players into that and took all their current squad out of it, therefore leaving us with a nice template to put all our players in and see how they would get on. This is only players who have been chosen in the Euro squad, so there is some big names who you think would be in there, such as Asensio, Sergio Ramos. That's probably down to Enrique, who was a former Barcelona manager and didn't even pick a Madrid player. So we're going to run through this squad. This was made from the Euros squad. So we're going to run through the Spanish squad. This was made from only players who were selected in the Euros. So obviously you'll have a few players missing who Enrique didn't pick, probably because he was an ex Barcelona manager and didn't like the Madrid players so you have the likes of Asensio who aren't there, Sergio Ramos obviously you can disagree with that but ultimately he did not put them in. We've got players like David De Gea from United, we've got Una Simon from Bilbao, we've got Laporte from City, we've got Pau Torres from Villarreal, Jordi Elba from Barcelona, Gaia from Valencia, Sergio Busquets, Fabian from Napoli, Marcus Lorente from Atletico Bilbao, Marcus Lorente from Atletico Madrid, you got Rodri from City, Thiago from Liverpool, Koke from Madrid, Ferran Torres from City and Morata from Atletico Madrid. Obviously there is other players throughout the squad though. Just showing you the main ones there. So you may wonder how would this squad do in the Liga. Obviously you've got some big teams in there like Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid and Barcelona with teams like Sevilla, Villarreal. Real Sociedad, all not too bad either. But also we've got to think here, any players taken from any of these clubs will be weakened. For example, Morata from Atletico Madrid. You've got you got Alba from Barcelona. We have Gaia from Valencia, so on. But there is a lot of players from around the world in this squad, so the Liga won't be too affected, but obviously some squads will be weakened. So you got to think, is this squad strong enough? And how much would the Spanish League be affected when the national team is taken out of it? So we look at La Liga and they finished third overall. They were six points behind Real Madrid and two points behind Atletico Madrid in second. So they didn't do too bad, not far off the top, but ultimately they couldn't win it even with all them players. Real Madrid still on top, Atletico is still there. Barcelona look like they've been effective quite badly in with 65 points. So we can see overall we had five losses, one to Atletico Madrid, Sevilla, and then some other lower mid-table teams. Nine draws, Barcelona, Villarreal, Real Sociedad, so a lot of the decent teams got draws out of them and the rest win, so that must mean we beat Madrid twice, we beat Barcelona at least once, beat Atletico as well, so they've done really well, got some good results, but it wasn't enough. So we can have a look in the league and how they get on with these stats. Suarez topped with 24 goals for Atletico Madrid. Looking at the team, we had Morata was second with 19. Any other players on here? Here we have Mikel, who also had 12 goals. That's really good. Moreno, who had 11 goals. So we've got three players on this list. Obviously, other players would have scored goals. But to get three out of all of these isn't too bad. For average rating, Gaia from our team was top, so he was the most consistent throughout the league, which is really fantastic. And he also got the most assists here as well. So we can have a look here, any other players that made it. Morata was the 8th best average player, and that's all. Then you've got players like Fikur, Modric, Cruz, Hazard, Varane. So the best players, obviously Madrid playing well, that's why they did 
win still. If we look at other assisters, we had Mikel had eight, which is really good. Aspul Laqueta had seven as well, so he's done really well. Most player of the matches, Gaia top with 11, far and above everyone else, over the likes of Hazard, Messi, Suarez. So he's obviously been a fantastic player this year. Morata also joined Ape, so he's also got a few there himself. David De Gea had the most clean sheet, so we were very defensively good. Managed to keep 21 out of the 38 games. Fantastic there. So we can have a look also if we did anything else in the competitions. So you can see here for the club overall, Morata got 21 for the season. Guy got 13 and 13 other matches. So we can have a look at the results. Uh, first we look at the Cups. So the only thing we're in was the Spanish one with a 5-0. We also had a 1-0 here and a 0-0 that went to penalties in which two of the... a lot of misses here. The other team missed three. We missed two with Thiago and Pedri missing them but ultimately got through in the end just about. A nice 1 0 against Sevilla, which is good. A 2 2 going to Pens again, getting through there. A 1 1 draw in the first leg, but a 2 0 win at home. Solidified a final in which they unfortunately lost 2 0 to Barcelona, which is obviously very disappointing. So we can have a look at some of the results they had. They beat Madrid 1 0. They beat Madrid 1-0, a 1-1 draw for Valencia, a 2-1 win against Barcelona here, Pedri scoring and Morata, a 1-0 win against Atletico Madrid, 2-1-0 against Sevilla, 6-3 against Valencia, that must have been an incredible match, Morata getting a hat-trick, Laporte, Moreno, Rodriguez all getting goals in that one. A 0-0 draw of Barcelona and a 3-0 loss to Atletico. So in the big games they did really well. That's probably why they're so high up. It just looks like they had a really good run up until around March. And then some slip-ups here. A loss. Draw, 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 draw. A run of five draws really dropped a lot of points in that run. You're talking 10 points there which would have meant they would have won the league if they won a few more of them. So obviously the team would have got Champions League football. They couldn't win the cup, but they did get to the final, and they did very well against the big teams, beating Real Madrid, Atletico and Barcelona all in the same season. So unfortunately they couldn't do it, but put up a really good performance and shows that the Spanish team in the Liga Probably would do well. You're talking at least top four, I would say, with normally Barcelona being in there. So that's how the Spanish national team would get on in La Liga. I hope you liked that and enjoyed watching, and I'll see you all next time for another one of these.